Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Life in the Woods Renaissance. And in today's episode, we are going to be building ourselves a little bit of an auto smelter. Now, this is a design that you guys have probably seen me use before. I've built it a couple times. Um, but I think it's also a design that's kind of one of those things that every, every village should have an auto smelter. If you're either playing vanilla or if you're playing a mod pack like this one that doesn't have a whole lot of automation and things like that in it. So, um, there's going to be a couple things that we will need. First and foremost, we're going to need some chests. I will use trap chests, I think. And we'll grab some regular ones. We'll grab two furnaces. We'll need one, two, three. We'll need some hoppers. We're going to need more hoppers than that. Um, I need a little bit of iron because I'm going to have to make some more hoppers. Do I have a... I just realized I don't actually have a crafting table <laughs> in this warehouse anywhere. Uh, okay, easy enough. We'll just put one right here. That's fine. So let's just make... Let's see. We're going to need one, two, three, four... We're going to need six hoppers, I believe. So let's make two more. That should be fine. And then... I think that's pretty much all we're going to need. We're going to need uh, a decent amount of cobblestone as well. And we'll use this andesite cobblestone. And then the rest of it I can kind of work on as I go. Actually, we're also going to need some logs. Uh, let's see. What do we got to work with? We're going to need dark oak for sure. We'll probably want a little bit of spruce maybe? Maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll go with spruce for the roof. I think this will this is a good start. This should be enough to get us started at least. And the reason I want to build this auto smelter is because um bread, bread being smelted into toast is a very useful thing and unfortunately um not exactly something that's you know, it's kind of tedious. So I'd like to be able to just drop a whole bunch of bread into the top of the the auto smelter and call it good. So, let's see here. Let's start off by kind of laying out our foundation for this thing. Actually, you know what? Let's let's start off the intelligent way by laying out our uh, little... There we go. Let's put that there. And feeding into that, we'll put two hoppers. We'll put a furnace there. Hopper into that. Hopper into that. And then up here, we'll put two more hoppers. And I'm going to put a trapped chest on top of each of these hoppers. And that way, it won't, um, the hoppers won't take stuff out while it's open. So, uh, that is essentially the auto smelter. Now we just need to make it look pretty, because that's the important part. So, I'm thinking right about here-ish... Maybe here. Hmm. Maybe here. How about there? Does that look good? I feel like I might need to push this whole thing back a little bit. Yeah, I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to push the whole thing back a little bit. Maybe two blocks? Because I want the path to kind of lead up to it. And right now, that's not happening. So let's just break this up a little bit. There we go. And let's actually push it back to right about here, maybe. Like, that would be the very front. Maybe even farther. Let's actually push it back even one more. Right here. That's where it will go. And now it's getting dark. So let me take a little sleep. Let me rebuild what we'd already built. And I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, guys, so we've got the auto smelter right here. Now, the next thing I wanna do is kind of lay out this area around it. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking those might actually need to come in a little bit or maybe out a little bit. Maybe here. I think that looks about right. And essentially what I'm doing is figuring out how we want some of this stuff to look. Now, a lot of this we want to cover up. 
right? Because this, let's be honest, this is not a good look right here. So we'll have uh, this, which is essentially going to be a furnace, and we're going to use stairs to cover up pretty significant portions. Uh, let's bring this guy up. And over like that, I think. Does that look good? Yep. And then this guy up and over like that. There we go. That also looks pretty good. Hmm. Although, that also seems a lot thicker than previous times that I've built this. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm just crazy and I remember it being smaller. I don't know. Uh, either way, this back here is pretty much all gonna get covered up. There we go. Like so. And then here in the middle, this is gonna be a chimney back here. Because the idea is that this big, huge thing is all one big chimney. And we'll put stairs up here as well. And then this chimney will go up pretty high, like up to here. And I'll put two cobblestone walls on top of it like that. So I got this big chimney. That might be a bit too high, maybe. We might we might dial that back a little bit, but we'll see. Um, let's go ahead and make a quick crafting bench, just because I don't feel like running inside. And let's make a few more of those guys and a couple more of those guys. There we go. Now here, I know I want stairs like so. These chests need to be accessible, but I don't want them to be, you know, ridiculous or anything like that. I think this is probably good like so. Okay, now here, I think I'm going to turn a stair in like that, just to kind of give us this shape, which I think is pretty good. Um, back here, maybe we'll do something like that, and then here as well. There we go. And that looks like a big chimney, which is good. That's kind of what we're going for. We want it to look like a big chimney. So, I mean, I think overall that's pretty good. Um, we could potentially do something like that and like that. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm pretty happy with that shape and the way that that looks. So now we want to build up these pillars, I'm thinking up to here. Right? That about right? That looks about right. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now, the question is, do I want to do the roof out of spruce slabs? Or do I want to do the roof out of dark oak slabs? Which would fit better? I think the spruce would probably fit better with this particular area. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we're gonna make a whole bunch of spruce slabs, and then let's just kind of work our way up here. There we go. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna raise this roof at a very simple slope of one slab per block. Really easy, nothing super complicated or anything like that, and I think it's gonna go to about here, because that is the, the bottom half of a block. Um, yeah, so it'll go like that. Okay, then we'll do the same thing on this side. Like so. There we go. And looks like one more. 
And then we'll just go ahead and bring these across. And connect them right in to the smelter. I'm thinking... We'll see how this looks in a minute. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm thinking the, the roof has to come out this way. One more block. That's what I'm thinking. Which is easy enough. That's that's no problem. Um, and these all need to break as well. There we go. So let's just bring these out one block. And ultimately... Can I reach that one from down here? Yep. Ultimately, these pillars then will connect over here instead, which I think will be a little bit better. So go here and pillar, pillar. Yeah, that looks better. And then we'll just do the same thing over here. So let me get that done over here, guys, and I'll come back to you in just a second. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got that kind of taken care of, and I think it looks all right. Um, I'm kind of thinking that these I'm just going to swap out entirely for these stone walls like so. I think that'll look better overall. Just to have those supports kind of up there. And then we'll go ahead and bring these guys down as well. And I think I'm going to have to make a few more. Wow, we barely have enough of this andesite cobble. There we go, let's do that. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so there we go. That gives us the auto smelter itself. Now we need to kind of dress it up on the inside a little bit. I'm almost thinking, hmm, I'm almost thinking that roof needs to come up a block because from here, this does not look so good. Just kind of looking at it. I mean... Hmm. Something here doesn't look like... Well, I guess it... It works. I'm not opposed to changing it. Like, it looks okay from over here. I think it might be fine. I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments if you think that some of this needs to be changed up. But what I want to do here is I want to kind of get the area around this kind of dressed up a little bit as well. Just around the auto, the auto smelter, the area around over here. Um, I don't know that I necessarily need to do the entire back area, but this front area for sure needs to be kind of cleaned up a bit. And I'm kind of thinking we're going to have the path and then this will be essentially just dirt again. So let's grab our chisel and let's grab some of these chiseled textures. And I just want to mix a few of these in around and about. So we're doing essentially the same pattern that we were doing over here, but we're doing it around the other guy instead. So we'll take some of these dirt layers uh, we need to make sure that of the remaining areas, none of them connect. That should be good like that. And then finally, we'll go vertical dirt. Here we go. Because that is just the regular dirt texture but it connects to other ones if we let it. So, um, okay, that's not bad. This, on the other hand, is not good. The fact that these are changing to dirt. Uh, or maybe they're not. Maybe they... No, you know what? I th I'm pretty sure that the grass should spread to this. Because if you think about, like, 
um, like a sheep farm, for example, where you do the fences in iron or in uh, in cobblestone walls, it still works. I think this is fine. I think it's okay. Yeah, but that gives us the auto smelter, and then what we can use that for. Hello, random tree. That, that, that tree there is actually not that bad. That's actually a pretty good spot for it. Um, and then what we can use that for is to cook up large amounts of wheat and stuff pretty much right off the bat. So if we go into... Uh, where's my food chest? Ah, right here. If we go into here and grab a stack of wheat, right? And then we grab... Where... Is it in here? Aha! We grab a mortar, um, a mortar and pestle. Wow, talking. Uh, we can make a bunch of flour. And flour can be made into bread. Just regular bread. Is it towards the end? Maybe? Ah, no, it needs to get made into dough. And it requires a water bucket, which is pretty tedious, actually. Because I think it only works... Uh, you gotta do that one at a time. Ugh, that's horrible. Hmm. What could we... And I, of course I just made 64 dough. Or 64 flour. Light meal there, light meal. What is this considered? That's a snack. So... I'm just trying to see what my best bet is. Because I want a recipe that I can do multiple, like a stack of it at once. I don't want to do, I don't want to do something um, that is just like, like this requires this water bucket. And I don't, I, I think you, yeah. Let's check though. Let's find out, I guess. I Maybe I'm, maybe I'm incorrect. Maybe I don't need to do each one of those recipes individually, because that would be very grindy and not fun. Um, do I not have a bucket? Oh, it's right here. Ha! Ah, found it! Okay. So, anyway, as I was saying, it's flour, water, and salt will make dough. I do have a pretty decent amount of salt right here. Oh, and I need a mixing bowl. There we go. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to need multiple buckets of water for this, but we're going to try it and find out. Yeah, look at that. One dough. That would take so long. Like, much better when it's automation. When you can automate it. So much better. Because this will take forever to do it one at a time. So let's see what other options we have here for all this flour. I'm looking for something that it is at least a light meal would be good. Something that's all where all the components are stackable. Lemons. Ooh, fish dinner. So if I can get my hands on lemons, that could work. And then I need fish, but fish is... Fish can be exchanged for tofu. Hmm. We've also got... Stock. Honey. Pumpkin muffin. Hearty light meal. That might work. Yeah, we can just do flour... Pork chop, skillet. That will totally work. Sweet! Okay, so in that case, let's put you away. Flour. I've got tofu in over there. Okay, let me get some stuff organized and get this put together, and I'll come back to you in just a second. Alright guys, I am back, so we're gonna give this a try. We got 64 flour, and we can make... 
eight of these per, and they restore two hunger ticks, so better than just tofu by itself. But they're relatively easy to craft, so I think that's probably a good kind of balance. Um, bread is kind of a pain. I, I think maybe the, the best way to do bread um, is probably just do, like, bread, like, the vanilla way, three, three wheat making one bread. Um, certainly not the most efficient, but a lot less of a pain than doing all the other stuff. And I don't think there's a way to automate the production of dough, which is too bad. But it's okay. These things happen. Um, so let's try out our new auto smelter. We'll grab some wheat grab the bread that we already have and let's just make eight loaves of bread I'll throw that up here we'll grab a little bit of coal we'll grab like a stack and into each side of the auto smelter I'll put one stack of coal and then up in the top we'll put the bread that'll light up and start cooking and maybe I'll put a torch here and here. Like, it's... That way we can have a little light over here. I'd, ideally, I'd rather have the torches on the posts, but... Um, yeah. So, let's go ahead and take a little sleep. And then we'll double check and make sure that it's working. And then I think we'll be good to go. So we can, we can mass produce um, toast now. As long as we have the wheat to do it. And I think... We shouldn't really have too much trouble getting wheat. That stuff does seem to grow pretty fast. Yeah, there we go. It's spitting out toast. Awesome. So that means we can make burgers as much as we want. Uh, and as you can see, we've got plenty of soybeans, plenty of wheat growing over here. So I think we'll be good to go. Um, but unfortunately, guys, I'm running a little short on time today. So that is all that I have time for in this one. So my friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.